I've seen some people use this technique where they uh, click until they get the color that they want. Um, that's cool, but you can also right click and then you get the cables here. Um, left click it and hold left click and then drag that sucker to where you want it. Um, works on every port. So if you use color coding in any way, you want to use like red for uh, audio information, you can do this sort of thing. While we're here, we can also do this. If you control click, you'll get another um, out from that section in the same color. Unless it's from the source, then you'll get different colors. And you can shift click to just take these off really quick. One more time, we can do control click, same color, control click, different color, shift click to detach. And it works on both ends. There are also quite a few cable management modules. This one's my favorite, it's from Inklin. Um, if you hold the number down and then pull a cable out, uh, it's gonna be that color. And then you can just keep pulling those that same color cable out. Uh, you don't have to hold the number anymore. So let's say I want a green cable, I'm gonna press and hold three. And now I'm going to pull a cable, it's green. Now every cable I pull after is green regardless of if I'm holding the number or not. One red, two yellow, three green, four blue, five, purple. Yeah, this is great. If you go to view, you can adjust how floppy and how tight the cords are. You can also adjust the opacity. I like mine at 77.7 and 44.4. Let me know what you like. This is a common um, cable scheme that people have adopted. Red for audio, blue for clocks, triggers, and gates, yellow for voltage per octave, and green for modulation. Um, you can follow this, and uh, if you stick to it, it'll be really helpful in maintaining your uh, cable usage and just seeing where things are going. You'll be able to see it more, more easily. Feel free to use this one or make up your own, or don't do it at all. It doesn't really matter because the VCV rack community isn't your dad. This one's also pretty useful. It's less mess by log instruments. Um, it's just a little cable uh, labeler. You can come in and put in whatever you want to label your cables and keep them organized. These are pretty sick too. These are the um, teleport in and teleport out by little utils. Um, they can teleport a signal from here to the output, so the input to the output. This way, all of this space can have no cables in it and you can put whatever you want in there. Um, you can also name them whatever you want. So this is uh, an input, I'm gonna name it boop. And this is another input, I'm gonna name it beep. Or it's already named beep. Huh? Uh, and you can switch between them by selecting them here. Here's beep. You see all of these have lit up and now they're modulating and now we could change it to boop and now they're going faster. Um, yep. That's it for this video. If you like these no fluff style tutorials, you can uh, let me know that by liking and subscribing or don't, whatever. And um, yeah, cool. Hopefully you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.